Good morning, I'm David Smalley with Elves and Angels. We're going to do uh, an assembly video of both Fairy Tale Castle and Fairy Tale Castle Deluxe. One is uh, Fairy Tale Castle Deluxe is a little more involved, and uh, we're going to combine these in two. We're going to start with Fairy Tale Castle. Um, and <coughs> as uh, you might have read in the copy on uh, Fairy Tale Castle, this is uh, each piece. Uh, of the castle is freestanding, so <clears throat> what it means is your child can um, have it in any shape uh, that they want and do with it as they would like to. So it becomes extremely playable. So I'll show it to you and then you'll know a little more of what I'm talking about. <coughs> this is the uh, front of the castle. As you can see the doors open, hinged doors, this, uh, and First thing we have to do is put the front into the base. This is what it stands on. So what we're going to do is take the base, and I think you saw that there was a groove um, in it. You just pro probably heard that drop down. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll just flip it up like this. I'll show you the two pre-drill holes. I'm going to get two screws in there. <coughs> And I'll just put one. All right, there's freestanding front. And then we're going to put uh, the catwalk on. I'll turn it around. Okay, this, as you can see, goes into that groove, as do every all parts with uh, that we use. And then it's going to get a couple of screws up front. This can be done with a screw gun or a Phillips screwdriver. Either one will work fine. Like that. And then uh, we have <coughs> another catwalk, excuse me, right here. Same thing. Put it in the groove and have it even with the the, the sides here, the sides right there. Uh, again, two screws on the front. Okay. Here we have the front of the castle. I'll try to keep it in view here while I'm doing the sides. Sides of the castle, this. Grooves in the back for the catwalks. <coughs> Same thing on the base. It's going to drop down in here. You can see this is extremely simple. Two screws in the bottom. I'm going to put one. Catwalk. This. Into the groove. This. And uh, I'll put one screw. There are two. We like this castle, especially the, the <coughs> excuse me, the deluxe has uh, amazing play value. So there you have your first two freestanding parts, and to be repetitious here, we'll do another side. Okay, that just goes down in there like that. One. Catwalk again. even to the sides there on this. Okay. One screw I'll put. Okay, so now, right now, this is uh, what we're looking like here. We've got this, this, and this. Okay, we'll close the doors here. we we'll move this out of the way for a minute while we do the towers. Uh, the night over here, keeping me company. All right, uh, towers here. Okay. <coughs> Tower parts you're going to see. There is there are two thinner pieces. One is a doorway. One is a window. And then on the wider pieces with the grooves, there is a window and a solid. Okay, so what we're going to do is, <coughs> you want uh, the solid 
on the left hand side here on this one all right and then we'll start with the window okay so I'm just gonna hold that like that in that groove uh, this takes two screws we're gonna use one okay so you see what that looks like and then I'm gonna take this which is uh, the doorway that's gonna be in the rear towards the rear of the castle take it like this this goes here and have your rounded over parts <coughs> facing outward and you'll see what we mean here by rounded over that goes out not in and uh, now we're going to put um, the floor of the tower in. There's going to be <coughs> a pencil mark on the edge of this piece of Baltic birch right there and the pencil mark wants to slide in here and it goes all the way to the front. <coughs> now with these grooves I'm going to lock into what we already have here. Okay, we'll take it like that and move it over this and uh, just like this. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So here you have it here. Uh, you have a solid piece, then you have the window which is facing out, another window facing to the side, and in the rear, that's the, um, the doorway. So, <clears throat> as the castle sets up, this solid piece, unless your child determines something different, is going to want to go somewhere there. You could go like that, you can go like this, you can go like this, and then you can add on a, so a side piece, which I'll show you in a minute, but all of this can be played with also like this. This over here, another child has this, they have a side. They can do anything they want with it, actually. And then, of course, you have your catwalks in the room. Okay, uh, we're going to do the other tower now. <coughs> you want to have, excuse me, solid facing this way, opposite of this one, for instance. And then you're going to put, first of all, your window going towards the front. This. Just pop it in the groove there. Okay, and now <coughs> we're going to put uh, a doorway on the rear in there. This. Okay. And then you're going to take <coughs> your piece of Baltic birch and simply slide it in here. Yeah, that's what they, uh, the knights stand on, or the king and queen. Then you take the other side, which is a window, the wider part and just uh, put it in the grooves. See it just pops in there like that. I'm going to put a couple of screws here for you to see. Okay, so this is what we look like here for fairy tale. As you can see, all of these are freestanding. This is basically fairy tale do whatever you want with it as I showed you before. And then your side walls, if you want them like that, they work fine. You want this like this. Or there's multitudes of different things that you can do with this. Uh, uh, I think I'm going to flip it around. You just wait a minute and I'll show you the flexibility of this thing. Uh, so that you can see a rear view of this. It's quite interesting. I'll just flip the front around this is the rear okay and I'm gonna we'll give you the uh, uh, whoops sorry oops over here that and then over here like this whoops I gotta come forward here. okay so this is the way I'm setting it up for instance okay and then you might take your side spread it out like this and 
possibly spread it out like this. Uh, we are going to sell uh, extra pieces for this if you want to expand on the castle. This could also be moved over here, like this. You could do like this. Any number of things that a um, child would like to do. Uh, they love to be able to, even if this, a lot of times they don't see things the way that we do. They don't see everything coming together the way that you necessarily think. This might just be like this for many kids. So anyways, the, there's this option for this. <coughs> that is Fairy Tale Castle. Uh, the difference in the deluxe is instead of getting two towers, you're going to get four towers. And the front of Fairy Tale Deluxe is quite a bit different. And I'll show that to you right now in the same video if you're someone that bought a deluxe. Um, the same starts with a base. This is front of Fairy Tale Castle Deluxe. Again, it drops into the base. This. Like Let me get a screw. Let's put one screw in it, I guess. And even it with the, the edge of the base, that goes even with the edge. One screw. And get it. Okay. Got that. Now uh, we're going to put the keep. You can see this is the size of the keep. They're simply going to go like this. They fit into another groove. This fits into another groove here. Like this. Uh, let's see. Put screws here. Let's see if we can just do it with two screws. Hopefully. And then the floor, altered birch, into the slides in here like this. Then the rear of the keep, this. This, as you can see, the grooves is going to lock in over this. All the parts, the Elves and Angels products now in the flat pack form, uh, lock together. I need three hands right now. But uh, this is really a breeze to assemble. This is a really nice piece. Uh, there we have the keep. You know, king and queen, anything. There's a lot of room up there. Now we have the last two things here is to install the, uh, <coughs> the catwalk. Here again, I'm saving screws, saving a little time. Like more over here. And this. All right. This is the front Fairy Castle Deluxe. I'm gonna try to give you decent shot of this so that it's not confusing. We'll take this one away for instance. I won't have the additional towers but this is the front. It will also have these. Door. Oops. The doorways, well actually you can have the doorways uh, pointing out if you want. Uh, and again uh, you can put these side walls out as a wing or whatever. Uh, and then with Fairy Tale Deluxe, there will be one, two more towers back here. So the difference is two additional towers and the keep makes it deluxe. And again, these can be bought separately to add on. I want to show you the rear of this. It's quite interesting. Flip this. How do I do that? This goes over here now. Okay. This goes over here. And then we're going to do like this. 
But there again, uh, there's numbers of different ways this can be set up and there's a lot of play value in there going through the doorways and everything. Um, it's a pretty good castle. We're very pleased with it over our other one. The last thing that you do is um, put the plugs in. A dab of glue there, there on both edges. Uh, plugs are very susceptible to humidity. Um, sometimes they can swell if it's cold. They can contract. They'll either go in very easily or there'll be a little bit of resistance. After you put your glue in there, just give them a little tap like this and you'll be all, all set to go. Uh, that's Fairy Tale Castle Deluxe. Uh, let me see here. Doors open. Lights. So there we have it. Um, that is uh, Fairy Tale Deluxe. Uh, thank you very much uh, for coming by and uh, uh, buying Elves and Angels products. We very much appreciate it.